Hi, welcome to this week's Commercial Real Estate Report. I'm Tom Dakin, business reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and writer of the Land and Space Commercial Real Estate blog at jsonline.com. A battle is brewing at City Hall over the best way to spur development of a long vacant lot west of Marquette University. This broke into public this week when Alderman Bob Bauman sponsored legislation that would direct the city to acquire a gas station at the northeast corner of 27th Street and Wisconsin Avenue. That building would be torn down and the land would be used to accommodate a boulevard that Bauman has proposed for a two-block stretch of 27th Street between Wells and Michigan Streets. Bauman said that boulevard would help promote development of a long vacant lot at the southeast corner of 27th and Wisconsin Avenue. That lot has been empty for several years ever since a former hotel and Marquette dormitory were torn down. Now, the boulevard idea is supported by Mayor Tom Barrett's administration, says City Development Commissioner Rocky Marcoux, but Marcoux says that the price demanded for selling the station is too high and the city recently withdrew its purchase offer. Marcoux says the city should now instead focus on approving the state plan to rebuild a longer stretch of 27th Street. Bauman's Boulevard idea is supported by some of the neighborhood's key players, including Rick Wiegan, owner of the nearby Ambassador Hotel, and officials from Marquette University and Marquette University High School. For more on this story, look at an upcoming edition of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and at jsonline.com.